Hi, I'm the Moorlander and this is Moorlander EDC. Today's video, just wanted to show you that there's a bit of diversity in the video. So instead of filming from the Moorlands, we are filming from an absolutely beautiful location known as the Isle of Want. Uh, and this amazing structure that you can see behind me is a smokestack that was used during the mining industry that was uh, prevalent here many, many moons ago um, to let air in, in and out of the mine. Called it a smokestack so you could see the smoke if there was a fire in there. Um, luckily there weren't too many fires back in the day so uh, yeah it was just just to help to keep the uh, to keep the mine shafts ventilated. We're going to be looking at the one bag by East Pack and if it helps you to make the decision on why this needs to be in your EDC then that's good. So getting straight into it this is produced by Eastpac. Um, the dimensions wise, 21 centimeters by 16 centimeters by 5.5 centimeters across. I haven't given you that specifically in inches because my measuring tape's inside, so we'll get back to that bit in a minute. Um, the bag consists of um, the main section, a back section, and a front section. In the main section there's a, there's a zip top off closed area um, that you can put extra stuff into. The material itself, now I've been onto the Eastpac website. The Eastpac website I'm sure used to tell you what type or what how uh, tough this material is. Um, unfortunately they've took that off so I've, I've tried as much as I possibly can to use Google to, to find out the best that I can find is it said that it's made from a polyamide um, material. It feels, now don't take my word on, well hopefully take my word on this, it feels, you're not, it's not a 1000D, but if you told me it was a 500 or a 650 then yeah, I'd, I'd believe that. On the outside all of the zips are open zips, they're not reversed zips to stop water from going in. Water does run off this. It doesn't say on the website that it's got any sort of coating to stop water from uh, going through, but I have found that if I'm caught in showers, that water will run off. If it goes onto the zip, you, you will find that it goes through. One thing to point out before I start going through this, and this is the main reason that I've made this video, a lot of pointing in today's video as well, I hope you've noticed. Um, this is a small bag. And when I bought it from Amazon, I read a lot of reviews because it was definitely the one that I'd, I'd got in mind. And a lot of the reviews had people saying that when they received the bag, they said it's very small or it's smaller than they expected. And I'm not going to lie, when I received this bag, I opened it and went, oh wow, that is small. It's definitely smaller than I was expecting. If I could change anything about this bag, I'd maybe make it an inch wider, an inch taller and an inch deeper. But then I think that would change essentially why this is a really useful bag. And that is because of the small size of it. So when you see this, if you do decide, you know, if this is something that you've been musing over, I guarantee you'll, you'll get it and you'll think, wow, that's small. But what I want to do to you today is I've got some things and I've brought some things with me just so you can get an idea of what you can fit in this bag. I've full filled this now this isn't how much stuff I'd usually carry in here but again this is for illustrative purposes so you can see exactly how much you can fit in so for construction wise zippers they aren't YKK zippers however with the quality that you get from East Pack bags they are cracking zippers I've never had any of the zippers fail on me I've never had any of the zips catch they, they open even if you've got something inside and it gets stuck on there, it will push it back in so that the zip will lock perfectly. You've got a big zip on the front, double zips on the top, so depending on whether you're right or left-handed, you can put it on one side, you're not going to have to worry about that, you can put it in the middle if you want. The zips have two reasonably sized holes in there as well. So if you're worried about uh, pickpocketing or anything like that, which is definitely something I'm going to point out, pointing again, Definitely something I'm going to mention in this is also why I think this is a very useful bag. You can um, either 
tie those together or if you've got a, a carabiner you can put a carabiner on there and the holes definitely are big enough I've tried it out myself and it's the same size zip on the back the front pocket opens up so and has some material that goes over that so if you're worried about anything that you might definitely want to not get wet you can put it in the front here uh, and it does stop a lot of the liquids going through Everything is double stitched and, and stitch folded, I believe it's called. Um, so it's, yeah, it's, it's, it's really hard wearing. I've had this bag now for a few years. I took it on my travels with me. It's, it's took some knocks and, yeah, well, I'd sell it as brand new if I could do. So in the front here, I've got a nail clippers. I have a small tin of uh, Altoids. You really can fit a lot, random parking ticket, dog walking bags because every responsible dog walker needs to have those. You can fit keys, you can fit your wallet in here. You'll struggle with a mobile phone. Um, it, it's definitely not big enough for a mobile phone in this, in this front section. One of the other things to point out with this front section is because it has this lip that goes across the bag, it goes across the zip to stop any anything from getting in there it almost well not almost it definitely does but it, it restricts you being able to get your hand in there I suppose that has its advantages and disadvantages if you've got stuff that you're putting in there regularly just be aware that it's something that you'll just have to get used to if there's something that you are worried about that will be taken out of your bag it's great you can put stuff in there if somebody manages to open that zip, then to be able to get their hand in it is a bit of a chore. So it's, like I say, it has its good points, it has its bad points. Onto the top, both of your zips have got, um, well, it's just some nylon cord. It's not any 550, but you can take it off and you can replace those. As I say, I want to show you exactly how much you can fit in here. And then I've got some other items that I'll, that I'll put in as well. So on the top, I've got a pair of my hawkers, nice glasses, uh, cables that I use for my recording, a small torch, pocket knife, can opener, multi-tool, a tiny dry bag just in case I know that it's definitely going to be wet and it's going to be coming down hard, I can put my mobile phone in there. This is why I didn't give it in feet and inches, well, this is why I didn't give it in inches, a little tape measure another bottle opener and then stuffed into the bottom if you managed to fit a first aid in, first aid kit in there um, probably wouldn't need to carry that on a day-to-day -day basis especially with the use of this bag but if you did need to you can fit in quite a lot inside there it's not it's not lined well you get you do get a lining on the front and the lining is between the pocket and and the inside of the main compartment but it's not the actual pocket itself you can't put your hand into here and lift the pocket out like you can do on some bags the lining is to protect that pocket and if you have anything in here and anything in here that's sharp it adds an extra layer of protection let's see with the dimensions 21 centimeters deep 16 centimeters across uh, and five and a half centimeters uh, in depth, uh, which in inches is uh, roughly six inches by eight inches and two inches uh, in the width. On the inside, there's also an additional pocket. If somebody has managed to get into your bag, and again, you're still concerned about people doing that. There's an additional pocket inside that goes all the way down. It's probably about an inch from the top. It goes all the way down to the bottom with an extra zip. There isn't a pulley or a pull cord on there. So you do have to fumble around to find that zip. It's just a single zip as well. There's no left or right as you have on the top. It's just, it's just a single zip. Again, I've had stuff in there that have been taken in and out. If you're travelling with this bag, it's great to put things like your passport in there. Passport fits in perfectly. You're zipping it in, zipping it out. You're going through different controls, through airports. 
it's, it's, it's really simple to put in and out. On the back side, you also then have an extra zip, single zip this time as well, that you can put some extra stuff in. So there I've got a I've got Leatherman, I've got my car keys, and also have my wallet. So totally going to do some videos on these. These are called elephant wallets, made by a Polish company. I'm not getting paid to do this, um, but there's one thing I've made that I've learned about Polish people. Other than the fact that they are amazing people, they make really good quality stuff. So, to be continued, I'll come back to that bag. The bag on the back is the same size as uh, the <laughs> pocket on the back. Sorry, the pocket on the back is the same size as the pocket on the front, and the same size as the pocket on the inside as well. It goes down roughly an inch, so that's about six or seven inches by six or seven inches across. Um, and it's great. This this is this is one of the most useful ones because when you're holding this, it, it's it's against you. If somebody does try, then you can put that stuff, put extra stuff on the inside, and hopefully no one will realise that it's there. Across the top, have a let's check four centimeter across um, webbing, which is an inch and a half. It's not too thick, but it's also not too thin either. When, when you have this on your shoulders, I mean, you're not going to be carrying around uh, 30 kilograms in this. You'd struggle to get 30 kilograms in there. Um, so when it's on, it doesn't, it doesn't pinch, it doesn't ride. I like to keep mine a little bit higher. Um, so it's, it's roughly uh, around my, my midriff. And I, I know that it's there because I've got, I, I can feel it with my arm. It also moves round to the back and it, it just fits perfectly. I do find sometimes when it's at the back it'll often work its way round but you, you get that with a lot of bags that are like this. Unless you go in maybe say towards like a, a Max Spedition Versipack which it's it's designed in such a way to keep it there but they're, they're, we're talking apples and oranges here. This, this is a completely different bag that you'd use in, in, uh, in different situations. Um, now, as I say, so I've, I've gone through a couple of dozen things that you can fit in this bag. Um, fellow Moorlanders, we're world famous for travelling, so for my North American friends, Canada, for people who are everywhere else around the world, what I thought is I'd, I'd find a few things that we all know the size of, whether you're in the UK, whether you're in North America somewhere, whether you're in Australia, Japan. Hi everyone from Japan! Um, these, these are standard si kind of sizes. So the first thing that I thought of was my copy of the Lord of the Rings. This is all three books plus the not so interesting story about how they all got home. Will this fit in? Here's an idea. We could make this a feature. Instead of a you know, dress down Friday, we could have Will it fit in Friday? Now, as you can see, ooh, you beauty! Here we go. Now, as you can see, a lot of pointing in this video. Had to wrestle with the zips a bit there, but this is an average sized paperback of The Lord of the Rings, and it fits. It fits pretty. <laughs> pretty much perfectly actually but I can still pinch the sides so we've still got a bit of room in there so I thought what's a little bit wider than a book take that out how about three DVDs will it fit will it blend three DVDs again fit absolutely perfect so again if you're wondering about those dimensions but I've got a bit of I've still got some some room in there you know it's, it's uh, 2018 not 2001 uh, DVDs a bit outdated let's put a blu-ray in there three DVDs and a blu-ray still got a bit of room on the back I've still got my dog bags in there um, so there's, there's, there's still room and they fit 
For any millennials that are watching and thinking this is a bit of a retro video, we've looked at books made from paper. We've looked at DVDs, if you're unsure. Ask your mum and dad. You'll be able to see them in museums. Hopefully you should all remember what a Blu-ray is. If you were wondering, you can definitely fit Netflix in here and you can definitely fit, fit your um, iTunes in here. Last but not least, again, kind of standard size, Monster. This video today is brought to you by Monster. Thank you Monster for getting in touch, asking me specifically to review a bag with these. Anyway, two cans of Monster. They fit. You've still got four, three or four centimeters at the top, a couple of inches. You can fit stuff down the side. If I wanted to put my keys, my wallet, you could throw them there, in there as well. But hopefully, the main reason that I've done this is, when you get this bag, you will think, wow, that is small. That was smaller than I was expecting. But hopefully what this has done is it's just given you a little bit more of an inkling as to what you can fit inside. Or if you were wondering about those dimensions, go and get four DVDs. If you can hold those four DVDs in your hand and you think, all right, okay, yeah, uh, I can fit this in, I can fit this in, then you know what you're going to be able to put in there. It says, the Eastpac website says that this has a capacity of two and a half litres. You can't fit a two, well, <laughs> I'd love to meet Eastpac and I'd love to find out how they managed to get two and a half litres in this. Um, I just can't see it. It's not that big and that may be why when people receive these bags they it just doesn't feel as big as they were expecting. You can't fit two and a half litres in there. There's, there's no chance. A couple of extra little things to point out and this is one of the main reasons why I like this bag and that is while I'm saying this as well and while I'm doing this I mentioned in a couple of videos that some European cities that you go to, there are some issues with pick, pickpocketing. I am not in any way shedding any sort of hate towards uh, my European cousins. That, that, that's, that's not what this is for. Uh, I'm massive pro-Europe. I love all of my European friends. I have many European friends. Um, but unfortunately, the reality is certain cities and certain countries you go to and pickpocketing is quite rife. Again, I, uh, I'm proud to be European, proud to be British. Um, and you can go into London, and London has exactly the same, same issues with pickpocketing. But the reason that I mentioned that was, and why I also think this is a great bag, is it fits perfectly under. If you're wearing a jacket and you think, I want to make sure no one's going to take anything, and if you are just going with the essentials, so wallet. Now I'd have my mobile phone in here, but unfortunately today I'm recording on my mobile phone, so well, that's unfortunate. But it's a it's a one plus five. It's not particularly a huge phone. You can put it on. I generally carry mine over my right shoulder because uh, I'm well kind of left-handed. I can zip it up. zips today and you know when you're walking around you can see here now I should have tested this out beforehand this uh, this tops a little bit tight but normally if I'd have got something that wasn't as tight you can you can wear it underneath <laughs> that worked perfectly I'm I'm gonna leave this in who cares um, you can't see that it that it's uh, that it's underneath there and it's great for that if you do have concerns People get mugged because some people don't use their common sense. As Moorlanders, we have massive amounts of common sense, that's why, we, uh, that's why we're cool. Um, so you can wear it on the inside like that. I mean, it's not like, oh, you remember those old fashioned, um, you see people walking around in the 90s with the, uh, the holsters that they put the phone in and the wallet and stuff. 
it's kind of a bit like that, but not as cheesy. But you can leave it there, you can walk around, hopefully you're not going to get noticed. It's also an extra deterrent that if somebody does want to try and pickpocket something or take something out of your bag, they have to get even closer to you and they'll need to come in from the front side to then be able to undo a zip, then be able to put their hand in. It's, it's not the quick process that a pickpocketer wants. Um, shouldn't stop you from visiting uh, Europe or even the UK. I'm sure if you went to New York or somewhere like that, Sydney, they, they, they have just as many problems with pickpocketers. I feel like I've gone on about pickpocketers quite a lot in this video, but this hopefully, if if you're you were ever considering purchasing the East Pack the One bag, I uh, hope this has helped. Now you can find me on Facebook if you search for Moorlander EDC. You can find me on Instagram. I tend to be on Instagram a little bit more than I'm on Facebook. If again you look for Moorlander EDC, uh, you should hopefully be able to find me. I'm also on Patreon as well, uh, so anything from there, hopefully, I'll be able to pass back to you in value by going through different, more different products. Um, I also want to do different things, so I've done two knife videos, I've done a video on myself. Uh, in fact, uh, see if I can get this to work. If you look here, if it is that side, you'll be able to see one of my knife videos. If you look here, which I'll put there one of the, the, the most recent bag video. I hope I can get these to work. I've never tried it before, but hey, we're all learning as we go along. So yeah, you can find me on social media. And please feel free to have a look through my other videos. I learn from feedback. Please keep it constructive. Um, yeah. There's also some affiliate links in the descriptions below where you can get these from Amazon. And I've also started to put in there the uh, equipment that I use to uh, to film these on. Get a lot of queries about how how my setup works and how other people set up work. So I've, I've put some information about that in the description below as well. Okay folks, stay safe, stay Moorlander, stay EDC.